Good morning, welcome to day 95, another low mileage day. Uh, we're going to start with a nice steep climb this morning to wake us up, but then it should be pretty much straight across all day long until we hit Roush Gap Shelter or thereabouts. Finding a campsite 13 miles later, we're starting out at 1167.3 and we're going to end at 1178.9-ish. We'll talk to you later. Okay, this is the end of the Horseshoe Trail, 121 miles from its origin at Valley Forge. This marker erected 1974 in memory of Cyrus Sturgis Jr. This is where we are, so you know, in case anybody's wanting to know where that's at. That mile marker is right by this sign, 8.3 miles from where we're going tonight. He's analyzing everything, deciding where we're going to ship to. And as usual, I'm just on my Tyvek, airing my socks out. Well, I haven't really filmed much today. I'm trying to remember if I filmed anything besides Pete taking a break at lunch at a campsite. But this has been pretty much the trail. You know, it comes and goes. The rocks are here. They're not like this, laying all flat. This is absolutely beautiful. I'll try. I'll see if it comes up where I can show you what they're like. But this is a really nice part of the trail. We're heading to the Rosh Shelter. And in back of it is supposed to be an old Rosh mining village from the 1800s. The runes are back there. So we'll check that out too the trail leading up to the shelter as you can see this is wonderful they have it all cleared out but this is what's on the side of the trail all throughout Go all the way up see I told Pete I think that's what we're in store for are just fields of that because these boulders are going up both sides of the road Must have cleared it all out when they were mining. We're coming into the shelter. It was hard for me to focus on this for a minute. Let me zoom in and show you. I don't know what that, that's kind of cool, that table. Although I would rather have a picnic table. There's the inside. Let's take a walk around and see what we have here. Fire pit. Not impressed. Privy down there. What do you think, Pete? Good 12 18. Nice clean surface to cook your food on or something you can't clean. Well, there's a log to sit on at least. Yeah. Huh. I have to find those, there's, probably those tent sites back behind. There's the water right there. Absolutely. How convenient is that? That's our water supply right there. That is fabulous. Oh, we got to find the tents. That's right. All right, where are we going to look for those? I think we passed them. Go on a little way. Oh, so that was them in the grass. I don't know. I but think. There certainly were tent sites. There might be some more out here, but we should look at far out and get some information. Or yeah, let me kind of turn this off. Well, the tent sites, I found them. They were up by the privy. Pete's checking them out. Otherwise, we're going to stay here, which I like. I like this, and there's a place to sit. Fire pit. Nice breeze. I don't know if I want to be at that other site. Wow, can you tell I cleaned my lens? So Pete decided we should be here by this site. There's a privy. He's looking for a bear hang. Let me set the tent up there. i got to put the inside together now. But what I was reading in the Far Out app is that the people who were eating food down by the shelter had ticks climbing on them while they were eating. 
So I'm not going down by the runes. I'm not going to go check those out. It's not worth the risk. Well, I have my first blister since starting the AT. It's, you know, I put this on it this morning, but it, it's not improving. Pretty good size one. So we'll see what happens. Keep an eye on it. Won't pick at it. And these... Big Agnes pads are now leaking already. We don't know what from or why or where, but at least it lasts through almost the whole night till we can get that replaced. Now this is really cool. That's like that pumpkin squishy stuff that we said uh, looked like it fell off a tree. Someone had identified it in the comments. Here it is growing on a tree. And actually this, is reminding me of candy corn and it's all soft when you touch it thick soft almost like foam very cool looking dirty we had to move our clothesline move the dirty socks out of the way we have our dirty socks hanging up in the tent we forgot to do an end of day we're just no, getting we're, ready we're to lay doing down. it right now we are okay so short <coughs> excuse me Short hiking day. That was miles. nice. Yeah, it's that was 12 miles. Pretty smooth trail. Met some interesting, like the trail master for this section. So the volunteer. Is that what he called himself, trail master? I think, I think he did, didn't he? Well, that's his title. He's the guy he responsible it. for the trail for his hiking club. And uh, what? So we found well, we, this. We talked to him about the seven mile stretch that was horrible, that shelter that we stayed at with the ginormous spider. But that's beside the fact it was just a rundown place and the trail was not maintained. And he said that trail club, they've been trying to get that section from them, but they won't, what do you say, withdraw from servicing it and they haven't taken it away from them yet. Whatever. Not good. Not sure that's what he said, but that's the gist of it. Yeah. So, yeah, be <coughs> beautiful weather continues. It did. And um, we got a... Nice tent spot at a nice uh, Rouse shelter, very nice shelter. Um, I showed you the tent spot. I did okay, take a picture did of it. Yeah. Okay, good, yeah. It's a, it's a nice place. Kind of it far is. off the trail, but not too bad. A lot of people rolling in now. There's yeah. one, two, three, four down at the site that we were originally at that we didn't take, and there's, I think, three or four at the shelter now. Uh, so not exactly crowded yet, but it's getting busy. And tomorrow's a really short day, a narrow into Jonesville or someplace like that. I don't know, six miles, probably so, rocky. Yeah, into our resupply in a hotel. So again, yes, we get to Fairfield. Get, get cleaned up and shower. And, and you'll eventually see this video because we'll get things uploaded again after a short hiatus. So yeah. Anyway, what else? Oh, and I met some new people. I met Jelly Bean and her partner extra and Spock made it here tonight not that's carrying good. his food bag has it in his backpack that's good yeah kids learning he's getting there yep. okay all right talk to you in the morning good night